So welcome back my friends to another Fallout 4 video and today we're going to be checking out a very easy and very fast way to get the unique quantum power armor in Fallout 4. As many of you guys will know by now the actual way you are supposed to be able to get this is when you collect all of the star cores which in itself is a very tedious quest halfway through uh, going through the galactic zone and exploring it uh, the map markers would disappear and you'd be left all alone to find all of the star cores by yourself which again can be a real pain in the ass especially if you don't know where each of them are located so for this video i'm going to be showing you guys a very very quick alternative way uh, just as simple as literally breaching through there picking up the power armor and fast traveling out and then the power armor is yours a much easier way of doing it and it's actually utilizing a wall breaching glitch that you can do with power armor so of course to start things off you're going to need another set of power armor that you own it can be any power armor that you like you can use for instance the new nuka cola one that you can actually find uh, in the world of refreshment just any old power armor would do and of course you want to take it to the command center exactly where the quantum power armor is located for those of you who don't know i'll go ahead and bring up the exact map location uh, for you guys right now and how this works is you want to hop into the power armor move all the way around to the side of where the power armor is behind the glass you then want to walk up these stairs so that you're pretty much touching the glass window and uh, what you then want to do is turn it to the side pretty much exactly as you see uh, from the gameplay in the background now here is where the glitch comes into play when you're facing this side you can actually exit your power armor you know usually when you're facing a wall or something it won't allow you to and how this works is you're going to be holding down while you're facing to the side the button to exit your power armor so this can be uh, for the keyboard for instance i'm doing this on pc so that's going to be the e key i believe on the xbox one that would be the a button to actually exit your power armor and i'm not entirely sure on the playstation but again any button that you use to exit your power armor you're going to be holding that down and as you're holding it down after about a second you want to quickly move your cursor or your mouse so that the back of the power armor is now facing the window so it's a very sort of quick 90 degree angle turn and then what will happen is you'll actually end up exiting the power armor through the glass like your body will actually breach straight through the glass and you'll find yourself right in front of the quantum power armor so you can see here uh, the first try ended up failing for me so i did it again it may take you know a couple of tries for you to get this going good but it isn't that hard when you know what you're doing and again uh, facing the left here holding down the e key or the a button if you're on xbox one uh, to exit the power armor and as you're doing it quickly turn so that the back faces the glass and boom you should breach straight through now at this point you may be asking well how do you get the quantum power armor out and that is a very simple question all you have to do at this point is fast travel to any nearby location the game actually classes the area as being outside and will allow you to fast travel so that's how you get the power armor out and that is essentially the very easy and i guess glitched way of getting the quantum power armor which by the way is a very very awesome piece of power armor of course this does come with the very cool looking uh, quantum paint scheme which in my opinion is one of the best paint schemes in the game and also when you're wearing all of the pieces together it does increase the action point refresh speed which i guess is the legendary prefix uh, that is on the power armor itself but Anyway, as always, hope you all did enjoy this video today. Now, we do want to give a quick shout out to Dark Assassin. He was the first person who I seen upload this to YouTube. I'm not entirely sure if he is the founder, but he is the furthest I could see in terms of date. He seems to have been the first person uh, to upload this. So I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. Uh, if anyone out there is the original founder of this, be sure to let me know as well, and I'll leave your link in the description. But aside from that, hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if it did help you out, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.